हे गाइज सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ द एंटायर ट्वेल्थ करिकुलम स्टार्टिंग विथ द मेट्रिस एंड डिटर्मिनेंट्स सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डू एंड इन दिस सेशन टूडे आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टीच यू इज जस्ट अ टेन मिनट सेशन माई क्लासेज विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस कमिंग इलेवेंथ इलेवेंथ मे थर्सडे से क्लासेज विल स्टार्ट द शेड्यूल इज एट पी एम एवरी ट्यूजडे थर्सडे एंड सैटरडे एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट how are we going to approach these classes we will also discuss about the curriculum that we are going to cover in matrices and determinants we will also discuss the topics which have been deleted in ncert will we do them or will we not all right and uh, my approach of teaching in general how am i going to teach you how how long will the classes be will i go at a relaxed pace will i go at a very fast pace what the level will be will i cover the ncert the basics or will i do at a very high level all this is what we are going to discuss in this next 10 minutes all right should we begin before that ensure you have also joined this telegram group this is the group where i anand sir are also there paul sir is also there and we will share the assignments after every class on this group and we'll keep discussing a lot with you guys there all right chalo on that note let's begin so in matrices and determinants the entire curriculum is this starting from matrix order of matrix then different types of uh, matrices then equality operations on matrices that is addition multiplication by a scalar negative of a matrix difference of a matrix all this at a very relaxed pace we will cover in almost one class of approximately 45 minutes to 1 hour not more than that okay then we will do multiplication of matrices very important this is what we will focus some relaxed time on as well going deep into it all right so overall i'll complete matrices and determinants in 6 to 7 lectures approximately in next two weeks okay with our classes on tuesday thursday and saturday 8 pm right and then the transpose of a matrix symmetric and skew symmetric matrices invertible matrices is what we are going to focus on and then determinants that is determinant area of a triangle minors and cofactors adjoint and inverse of a matrix and applications of determinants and matrices all right this is what we are going to do we'll cover all this and just see the portion which has been deleted kya kya deleted hai let's look at this what is deleted so from ncert 3.7 portion that is elementary operations transformations of a matrix but bachcho remember in my classes i will cover all those aspects even though if they are deleted by ncert but which i think will be important for j remember some portions have been deleted from ncert but they have not been deleted from j so rest assured if you are learning with me i will cover whatever that is important right from the basics till your j level all right by the way just note down for your reference these are the portions which have been deleted elementary operations or transformations of a matrix article 3.7 then 3.8 inverse of matrices by elementary operations right if you are doing questions retain question number 18 of exercise 3.4 rest all are not included anymore example 26 on page number 98 that is excluded now between page numbers 100 to 101 questions 1 2 3 and 12 from miscellaneous exercises excluded and third last point in the summary last me summary this is the summary right in the ncert so this is the portion which is deleted will not come in your board exam as well theek hai i may do some of these portions which i fe i feel is important for j all right you will have to be rest assured now coming to the deleted portions of determinants bachcho this is the portion article 4.3 properties of determinants is excluded now not it's not there in the ncert or in your board exam miscellaneous examples 30 se 32 and 34 questions 2 4 to 6 11 to 15 and 17 in the miscellaneous exercise not there on the page numbers 137 and 143 and summary points 4 to 11 on the page number 144 again as i said i will do portions which are important for j anyways all right cool bachcho 
talking about the weightage of matrices and determinants because we are going to go in deep into this topic we should know for the board exam it comes for approximately 10 marks out of 80 pretty important right so there will be two questions uh, sorry there will be multiple questions on uh, matrices and determinants uh, from this chapter portion wise matrices 5 marks determinants 5 marks for your board examination all right okay so 10 out of 80 but for j mains you will see two to three questions approximately eight marks out of 120 so j mains is 120 marks paper out of that eight marks comes from matrices and determinants approximately two at times three problems in j advanced approximately five to ten percent i have seen it vary between five to ten percent in papers one and two of j advanced broadly speaking it's a very scoring topic right there is very simple theory problems are usually straightforward right they are not very complicated so we are talking about a very scoring portion here in matrices and determinants remember very scoring theory portion is simple you know when we'll do the classes you'll realize you know it's very relaxed we'll do it we'll master it and you'll master it for your board examinations as, a, as well as for your JE, mains and advanced both, right? Now coming to the approach, how will I teach? How will you learn from me if you choose to? But so my way of teaching going ahead will be with extreme focus on basics. I'll focus a lot on basics. I'll take lots of NCRT questions in my initial classes as well. So rest assured, if you are learning with me, you don't have to worry about your board examinations or the basics or the coverage. So all the basics in a relaxed manner with 100% coverage for your board as well as J mains and advanced, I will do it. All right. Uh, you, you don't have to open up uh, your NCRT bo book if you are doing it with me just solve the examples that I'm doing you should be sorted then do the assignments which I'm giving to you done assignments will be there after every class will be shared on this telegram group which you should join if you're doing these classes pace I'm not going to hurry bacho. I know that you struggle with understanding and that's why you go here and there so in my classes I will go in depth I will do everything you know, in front of you without jumping between the concepts and I will want you to make notes as well. So my pace will be relaxed enough for you to continue to note down in your notebooks along with my class. All right. Okay. So don't, don't just be a mute spectator in my class. In my classes, you have to solve problems. You have to make notes, right? And you have to, you know, think. I will want you to think in the classes when you think when you solve when you write with your own hands that's when the concepts become very strong in your brain and once we have done this then but we are going to do level up for every topic I will do level up and my level up but is going to be really level up right so from J mains to advance I am going to stretch your level but after ensuring that your concepts are super clear. There are certain ways in which I'll be teaching as well. After this topic, we'll move to topics like, you know, relations and functions. We'll do your continuity, differentiability, all those aspects. Certain things are very important for that. For example, your graphical understanding. So let me also write it down. Kangya, oh, just a minute. Mm. Yeah. So important will be bacho, this. So graphs, transformations, hai? properties of functions, some basics right are very very important. So I'll keep taking sessions maybe extra sessions whenever required on making you strong on this because going ahead entire calculus is high on visualization 
high on graphical concepts for example if you have already studied here and there the concepts of continuity or differentiability you realize lots of problem problems are purely on graph if you approach it graphically you solve it just like this if you do it in some other method you get stuck by the way if your concepts are very strong if you can graphically visualize the concepts then the problems at j and j advanced level means an advanced level become very simple many of them become very simple rather than approaching it purely by the equations or the formulae right so my approach will be to train your brain to visualize to think graphically to approach graphically as much as possible and cram as less as possible right right so if your concepts are clear you realize, you realize there is very less to cram there is very less to remember everything is concepts right and finally bachcho we'll do everything as i said in a relaxed manner i will want you to go out of my classes with super high confidence of your understanding the concept of your having confidence on being able to solve the problems of your being able to slowly level up your level right so in general i will want you to have this beautiful y equal to x square this smile on your faces right so let's master all the concepts everything step by step from the basics going till j mains and the advanced level but with a smile on your faces bachcho so see you in my upcoming class on 11th at 8 pm right so 11th that is day after tomorrow 11 11th of may and at 8 pm is when our first class will be on matrices and determinants all right and after that every day not every day every tuesday thursday and saturday at 8 pm entire maths all right see you bye bye